Good morning guys. We have the Aqua FX RODI system here today. We're going to get this set up, get the water running so we can start putting it in the system. Here we have the Aqua FX RODI unit. Um, I've already cracked it open, but we're going to open it up. Uh, one thing you definitely don't have to worry about this unit is the packaging. This thing is packed like a beast in uh, standard foam. We're good to go. We have our uh, membrane, sediment, carbon, DI, our uh, starter lines. Inside the package we'll have the membrane, a little bit more line, uh, the filter wrench hose, then it comes with your standard um, garden hose adapter. Right here is the input on the unit. You can see it right there on top it says in. Um, that's going to go into your sediment filter and then from your sediment filter it's going to travel right in between through this connector and go into your carbon. From the carbon it actually goes to the back and comes up here into your membrane. From the membrane, it's gonna travel through here and has two options. Either it's gonna be wastewater uh, that is rejected by the membrane um, and can't be filtered as well, or the product water, which from this good water will go down into the DI connector, go through your resin filter, and then come out the good side here, which that'll go then to your storage container, to your little bucket, whatever you have. Um, now with the wastewater, you don't have to throw that away. You can actually utilize it for elsewhere in your house. Either some people use it for watering plants, um, outside gardens. Uh, you can, some people use it for washers. Um, so you definitely can reuse that if you want to. Otherwise, just throw it down a drain hole and it'll go down there. So real quick before I show you what I'm gonna be doing for my RODI setup, um, where I'm gonna be putting it, I'm gonna show you a couple different options that you can do. Take off the tripod here. Let's go take a look at these real quick. Uh, first off, we're gonna go into the washer and dryer room here. Uh, if you have a washer hookup, you can easily go back behind to where your two lines are for the hot and cold. Take off the cold line, put on a Y adapter. You want it to always be the cold line so you're not running hot water through your unit and destroying it. Uh, put on a Y adapter on your cold, hook up your washer again, and then use the other one for your uh, garden hose adapter to hook up to the RO system. Then you also have a really quick, easy drainage that the washer goes to as well. So you can do that, or we can go to a sink here that we're going to go into the bathroom. Here is the SpectPure Quick Disconnect. Uh, very simple to adapt onto a standard faucet. Just have to take off this piece right here, and then you'll use one of the adapters to get this connected up. So I've already loosened this piece up here. You just remove that real simple. And then you'll take an adapter here that's already installed actually on it for me, which will make it easy. Screw it back in. And I won't do it all the way just so I can show you here. But uh, essentially, this will work for your RO. Hook it up here. That's where you hook your tubing up. It comes out there. When you want to use it with just a regular faucet, just pull that off. And away you go. Ready to hook it up again, we just pull this little coupler sleeve down and we're back up and running. So now that I've showed you a couple of extra ways here that you can hook up your RDI system, let's go down to the basement. I'll show you how I'm going to hook mine up and get it started. Okay, now that we're down here, let me turn on some lights. I'll show you the setup. This is where I have my unit set up. I've got the garden hose adapter over here set up to the faucet. I've already been running the unit, got water running through it. I've got a trash can over here that I've been filling up uh, and started mixing salt already. So we're gonna get this going. Just real quick, I highly recommend a TDS meter. This unit doesn't come with one. So I added the HM digital three-way meter. I love it because it gives you three ports that you can utilize. I did it on the input before the DI and then on my output. Um, I do the input just because I like seeing what my tap water is doing, where that's at from, uh, from my house for the DI so I know what my membrane is doing as far as rejection and, and what's being sent through. And then of course, what my fish and coral are gonna be getting. So uh, it also allows you to know when to change some filters out, when this DI is being exhausted. Obviously I have the color change here so I know through that, but it's always a good idea to know exactly what's coming out. Just like testing your aquarium, you wanna know where your parameters are. I wanna know where my water quality is. On this TDS meter, very quick setup. Uh, you have Velcro strips here you can paste on. I put it on here, uh, and then you just have your on off button, and then you switch between the three lines. I'll uh, get the water running here, and we can see what my unit's working at. Quick while we're here, I'm gonna show you how to 
uh, utilize these probes from the HM digital unit. Um, I've already installed them, but I'm gonna take this out. To take it out, we just need to push down this white collar and pull it out. Same way with this tubing here. Uh, you just push down that white collar and then pull this out. You see we have two little probes here. Uh, we wanna make sure that water is passing both of them equally, uh, so which is usually lined up for the line two being directly to the front. So all we're doing is we're just putting this in the T, pushing down, and we're good to go. So the water's running, let's take a look at the TDS meter here. All we're gonna do is just uh, hit the on off button. It's gonna pull up our water. So I'm on line one right now. So right now I have 280 PPM coming through the system from my source water. Line two again is right before the DI, which is at zero for me. And then line three is my product water, which is also gonna be zero. So I'm getting great water coming out of this unit. Um, overall, I love this setup. I'll put a link below for everything that I've talked about here, the RODI kit, the HM Digital TDS meter, and the SpectraPure Quick Coupler kit, so you can take a look at those on our website. Uh, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to let us know. That's it for me, guys, this round. We've got the water moving. we got salt mixing. We're going to get it into the aquarium here next, get sand and rock in the system, fix that sump, and get it plumbed up. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, hit the bells for the notification so you can stay the most up to date with this tank and our other videos we're putting out. We appreciate you guys. If you have any things you'd like to see on this, let us know in the comments below. We'll try to get to it as we cycle through products on this system. Again, we appreciate it and we'll see you next round. take you off the tripod here we're gonna go look at a couple different options available if I can get you off get off of there uh, that's the basic setup of it so let's go now to other hookup something something or other okay